part of the work that I've done inside the Chateau La Louvière. This is the second video that I'm sharing. And this was kind of a particular session. More an exploration of genres, the opportunity to test new techniques. Let's break down some of these images. We didn't have any plan on this one. Of course, I had a few ideas, but this is one of the rarer sessions where I was given carte blanche and I allowed myself to improvise a little bit more than usual on the spot. This is not something that I often do. I prepare my shoots, I have a plan with my team so that we can be efficient the day of the photo shoot. But again, this was a special session. I wanted to go boudoir at first, and then we went into the lingerie territory. I wanted to add that commercial look, and then we kind of made a few portraits. I didn't like them. I shot the upper body only at first, and then slowly went further back and started shooting the entire body. From there, we kept on adding layers, accessories, and we ended up with these images. This is maybe the only image I knew I wanted to make this way. The pose, the surreal long dress. I wanted to include the ceiling, the chandelier, and of course, the reflection in the mirror. We took advantage of that big light stand that I don't always bring with me to place the lights exactly where I wanted it. My lovely two assistants with the fabric did the rest and of course the gorgeous Luis. I favored this image in particular. This is the first one that I posted on Instagram, but I still like the first one. talked about camera apps in past videos and how useful they could be in certain situations, and it was the case here. I attached my camera at the very end of the boom arm of my light stand and decided to shoot from the ceiling. We wrapped around the camera this long white fabric and decided to test a few different poses. Unfortunately, we discovered that we preferred the images where the white fabric was falling, wasn't falling straight down towards the model, towards the bathroom. 
and when I opened Photoshop, I ended up loving a little bit more of some of the poses that we made in the early takes. So in the end, I decided to merge some of these images together to have the same shape with the white fabric on all the pictures. Attitude is something that I'm working on more and more. I'm still learning and I still have a lot of room for improvement. Since originally we were kind of in between a boudoir and laundry photo shoot, the outfit for this one was easy to choose. And I wanted to make one picture, one strong portrait shot of Lois. And this red chair was the perfect accessory for that. To end this photo shoot, I decided to do something I've done multiple times in the past, using two objects or two pillars to actually hold the fabric in place. First, I wanted to keep them off frame, and finally I decided to keep them in. This is the type of session that I try to do from time to time, where we allow ourselves, me and my team, to explore a little bit more. Sometimes we learn a little bit, and sometimes we learn a lot, and we can also improve our technique. And this session in particular had an impact on the other images that we made the following days, but more on this in a future video. I really hope that you enjoyed this one and that I managed to motivate you to explore more. All the images and settings will be, of course, available on the blog really, really soon, but I guess that you already know that. Two other videos, behind the scenes videos made inside the Chateau La Louvière are coming your way. But before these, I'm setting up a new rendezvous for you guys next Thursday. It will not happen every week, but from time to time and only on Thursday. We will talk about gear, tools that I love, that I actually use in my work. No scientific tests, only my experience. Basically, it will look like the video that I did on the GFX100, my long-term review on the Cirrus L800 watts, or recently, my thoughts on the video transmitter, the 400S Pro. But don't worry, all my videos not gear-related, like my behind-the-scenes videos, for example, will still be posted every Sunday. I just wanted to separate my gear videos from the rest. Are you guys still following? Great. And of course, if you guys have any questions, you know where to leave them. I guess that I will see you all in the next one. But until then, take care and please have a good one.